Happy Sunday, fun day, YouTube. Pokemon Day. Guardians Rising. Tapu Lele. So, I've come to find out that more or less, unless you're getting Lele out of here, you bust. You're definitely not going to have any luck really making your, your money back, unfortunately. Which is okay. We don't do it for the dollars and cents. We do it because we need to catch more. But, um, yeah, we are just a few short days away from Ultra Prism's official release. Can't wait to get my hands on it. It's going to be great. Energy Recycler. Um, like I said, I really want to build a metal deck. Uh, looks like Metagra, or not Metagross, oh my god. Uh, Sucalia, um, you to play the Prism, you're just going to be accelerating energy like nobody's business this time around. It, it's going to be great. I really hope it becomes a competitive deck because I'm super interested in building it. So we've got a Gumi, Wishcase, and nothing else. Um, but then of course for all my Yu-Gi-Oh fans, Extreme Forces also comes out this week. Uh, can't wait to open that for you guys. It's going to be a boatload of fun. We get Rescue Stretcher and a Victory Bell. Choice Band, great card. So, I mean, out of this box, we've already got, we've got a DCE. The only card that I guess I really haven't gotten that's crazy uh, expensive would be the Rainbow Rare Tapu Lele. Galissapod Reverse, which is cool because it is a Reverse Rare. Um, so, Rainbow Rare Lele, any Lele, I'll take all the Leles. I actually would prefer, I prefer the look of full art over Rainbow Rare Leles, so, I can't, kinda, there it is. Got that. Fletchling, Absol, and a Weeping Bell for our reverse. So that was good. Always good. Trying to keep these separated because I don't know if any of you do bulk uh, trade-ins, but the biggest battle is separating everything. Like going through your hollow rares, reverse hollow rares, just regular reverses. You got a Chansey and a Honchcrow. It just is very time consuming. And considering it's not quite as lucrative as it once was, um, I still have a boatload sorted that I gotta get rid of. They're in bags, they're ready to go. A victory bell. Ah, oh, that's a reverse rare. Pangro. Regular rare. Aqua patch. Okay, so yeah, we haven't got any GXs. Or supporters. Or really anything. I don't, there's like no good supporters that come out of this set from what I remember. Nah, I shouldn't say that they're not good. And, wine and you shall receive a Como. So we got a Como O GX, Hala, Malo. Oh, Guzma, Full Art Guzma. We have yet to get a Full Art Guzma. We need a Full Art Guzma. So, let's make it happen. R happen, ha ha happen, to Let's make it happen, Guardians Rising. Machop, or a Choreo. Oh, that's Machoke. Or a Choreo regular rare. I would love a. There's some really nice gold cards. Uh, Secret rare field blower and rare candy. I mean, they're not setting the world on fire with dollar wise, but they're still really cool and very playable. Stuffle. Wimpod. Clefairy. Mimikyu. So, got a, another hollow rare. We are like halfway through this first side and literally have Como O. Not how you want to open Guardian Rising. We need something to redeem this. Orokorio! Tapu Koko! You are uh, not my redeeming factor, my friend. Two GXs though. Always, I always would like to get a six hitter. It's kind of the average, you know, you get one Ultra Air every six packs, kind of. Just makes you feel good about it. <laughs> makes you feel like you 
you got at least an average box. Beware and Sharknado. Sharkpedo, I know, but Sharknado should have won an Oscar. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's got Tara Reid in it, so it's pretty much the best movie ever. I'm kidding. Yeah, it's terrible. Cult classic because it's so bad it's good, right? Focus Litwick. Thank you. So land it. A baby little bell sprout. Got a Calissa Pod, Hollow Rare, Rescue Stretcher. I think that's four Hollow Rares slash Reverse Rares, Hollow Rares, whatever. Got a Mud Bray, Jingmo O, Wind Pod, Cast Form, and Trevenant. Metal Energy, come on. Where is Guzma? We haven't even, I don't know, I haven't even seen one, like, Guzma. Is Guzma in this set? Ooh, I'm gonna feel salty if it's not. No, Guzma, Guzma's not in here. Victini, Rainbow Rare! Bummer. That'd be a Rainbow Rare, <laughs> Rainbow Rare wishy-washy. Oh my god. No, Guzma, I'm sorry guys. Guzma would actually be in Bernie Shadows. Silly me. So we can't get a full art Guzma, but we could still get a Lele. We got a Hyper Rare. Lampant. Requaza Fairy. Galele. I don't know if any of you guys have ever actually taken a look, look at this. At least it's a basic, so that's positive. Water Gun for 20. Worthless. The Torrential Vortex, which reads... Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. See the energy cost? Five. It's not worth it. Uh, and then Blue Surge being the GX attack. Move all energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. <coughs> 220 is good. Especially for a basic. And you're not, like, discarding your energy. You're just moving it around. So, I mean, it could be a helpful you know, set up for game, you know, hit a, hit something, knock out, and then you got your next Pokemon set up, uh, you know, Mule Lola Ninetales, or something like that. Tewo, and Blissey, for another Hollow Rare. There's a Field Blower, not a gold one, but it's still a Field Blower. Alright, so far we got three, so we're right on course for six. I apologize, I wish they were a better three, but Guardians Rising says not today. All right, last half of the box. Let's go get something better than what we got right now, which isn't hard. Dilly Bird, Heliosec. No runt. Salanded Sudowoodoo. Just uncommon. Another Oracorio. Sligoo. Yeah, I guess there's just. I mean, the set gave you Lele, and that's what this set will be known for. Lele. I mean, it also, you know, feels more. It has really good cards in it, but most people aren't willing to pay that premium. Cottony. Especially when you have to play, I mean, most people are playing a couple field blowers, a couple rare candies, just depending on the decks that you're using. When you can get them for, you know, 10, 15 cents, why pay $20 just for the gold rare? Unless you can, and that's cool. Gar Garbador, nice. So now we've got a reverse rare, we got a hollow rare in that. Trash or Lance. Actually, a very good card. I am surprised that that is not over a dollar, two dollars, in reverse form. It's only like a dollar fifty, maybe. Gligar, Pat Rat, come la! It, the Turtinator, Baby Turt. That's right. We started off slow, and we kept going slow on the first side. So now what we got to do is uh, move the camera back so we're not wonky. 
but what we really need to do is get some good cards. This is taking a, a little longer than I thought it would, so I apologize. Rock rough. But Leo. Cosita. These are just not flying open like I thought I would get to them. What is this? Petlia, again. Got a field blower. Something behind our field blower. Ooh, nice. So I don't know if I've ever actually pulled the Alola Ninetales full art. You got Ice Blade for two double colorless. This attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, Blizzard's Edge, discard two energy from this Pokemon, does 160, and then Ice Path GX, uh, that's move all damage counters from this Pokemon to your opponent's active. So, that could be huge. Very nice. Probably the best card we have so far would be our full art for Lola Night Tales. Not bad. Alright, so we got our full art. I mean, in theory, what now? You, we would get two more just basic GX cards. Another Chandelure. Hopefully one of them's a Lele. Make it worth our wild, right? We need the Leles. We need the Leles. Tentacruel. Wishy Wash. We got a Wishy Washy. Not only do we have the Hyper Rare version of him, we also have the regular version of them. Five hits. One more. With this many packs, I'm sure we'll get one. Sure we'll end with a six hitter. Whether it's a good six hitter, who knows. Jingmo. Oh, Rikorio, that's the good one. That's the good one. Beacon. Great card. Search your deck for up to two uh, Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand. There's no stipulations on it. You pretty much just two Pokemon. Got a Trevenant, Reverse, and a Victini. So we have two Victinis now. I'm surprised Ninetales didn't get more play. I know everybody likes it, but I also know that it's not the old, most ultra committed Carv Carvana. And Lilligant. Got uh, just a boatload of choice bands in this opening, huh? Come on. Jengmo. Jengmo. Oh, oh, oh. Glysaur. And a Sand Slash. Of the Alolan variety. That means he's Chili Willy. Although, I never did get that. It's set on an island. Why would anybody, or why would any of the Pokemon that were, like, hot or sand type, get moved, and then be, um, sorry guys, I bumped the camera again. Why would they get moved and be like water or ice? I don't understand why that happens. Carvana. A comfy and swallow. Yellow, swallow, swallow, yellow. We got four left. I might have, uh... Might have spoken too soon on getting into the six hits, because we're kind of... There it is. Whoop! Toxapex! So this is pretty much the most standard box of Guardians Rising you could ever ask for. You got one secret, one full art, and four GX cards. That's pretty much the standard rundown. Aether Paradise. Talon Flame and a, uh, Leaf Energy, Grass Energy, excuse me. Two packs to go. Let's get a seven hitter. We need one more considering our Rainbow Rare turned out to be wishy washy. Got one more at least, Metagross. So we did get seven hits out of here, which is good. None of which again are like, oh, overly expensive. Oh, really, none of them are. None of them are more than five bucks, if that. Guess. Last pack. Can we get any more magical cards? Pat Rat, and we end it with a victory bell. Hey, we got seven hits. Seven ultras is not a bad thing. Um, what we get here? We got Metagross. A Toxapex. Wishwash. My favorite card that we pulled. 
Lola Nine Tails GX Full Art Hyper Rare Wishy Washy Como O and Tapu Koko GX. So again, not terrible overall. Good gig at seven of them, which isn't bad. Right? You guys are the best, like always. Um, thank you for watching. Come back on Tuesday, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! time. Hopefully I'll have Extreme Forces by Tuesday. If the if not, the latest I'll open it is Wednesday. So you guys will see that earlier or in the week. And then Ultra Prism will probably come in too. So I can't wait. I cannot wait. Again, everybody, thank you for the support and thank you for watching. Uh, we will catch you next time. I'll see you on Tuesday. Have a great rest of your night.